All right, class, so today's homework help is on function notation. Function notation is today's homework help. All right, remember when you're writing an equation in function notation, you're replacing y with f of x, okay? This is another way or a synonym for y, f of x, okay? The number that we put in the place of where you see x is the value of x, okay? So this is another way to write an equation. So an example of writing an equation 2x minus 3 as function notation is to replace this y with f of x. So you have f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. And you've gone from writing a regular equation to writing that same equation in function notation. If I replace this x with a number, that means that the value, the current value of x would be whatever that number is. I would then substitute that number in the place of x to figure out the value of y. Okay? All right, so in this first example, they give you a function and they tell you to find g of 4. That means to find y when x is equal to 4. And how do I know that they want you to find y? Because remember, g of x or f of x or h of x is another way to write y, okay? You don't always have to use the f, okay? You can use another letter. But it is another way to write y, okay? All right, how do I know that x is equal to 4? Because remember, where when they put that number in the parentheses, whatever number they put in the parentheses, that is the value of what x is. So here, x is equal to 4. So in order to find y, you substitute 4 everywhere you see x. So this is going to be a negative. Bring it down. You put 4 to the second power plus 3 times x again is 4 minus 2. Order of operations tells us to do this first. And so this is going to be 16. Bring down the negative. Then we got plus 3 times 4 minus 2. Then we do multiplication. So it's negative 16 plus 12 minus 2. Then we got negative 16 plus 12. That gives you negative 4 minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 is your answer. We're going to do the same thing here. G of X. Okay, it says, I'm sorry, H. H of X. Same thing as writing F of X, G of X, whatever. All right. H of, y, H of X is the same as saying Y. They wrote this equation in function notation. We want to figure out what Y is when X is equal to the number in the parentheses, which is negative 1. Okay. So we're going to replace, we'll figure out what y is, or h of, or h of x, either one, okay, um, by substituting the value for x. So we got h of negative 1 is equal to 4, and we're going to replace x with negative 1, minus 2. All right, so let's multiply first. This gives us negative 4 minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2 is going to give us a negative 6. So h of negative 1 is equal to a 6. y is equal, I'm sorry, negative 6. y is equal to negative 6. You can write this as negative 1 comma negative 6. When x is negative 1, y is equal to a negative 6. Okay, let's look at number 3. x here is equal to... 6, okay? So we're going to replace, you see where it says find, find y when x is equal to 6. So here we go. Let's do it. We got f of 6 is equal to 3 times, replace the x with 6, squared minus 9 times 6 plus 5, okay? Order of operations tells us to do all, all operations within parentheses. We don't have any operations in the parentheses, 
So we move on to exponents. 6 to the second power is 36. So we have 3 times 36 minus 9 times 6 plus 5. Okay? All right. So now we're going to multiply in order from left to right. So we have, uh, what is it? It's 3 times 36. 3 times 36 is 108. We have minus 9 times, or we could say negative 9 times 6 is a negative 54. Bring down the plus 5. Okay, from left to right, we're going to subtract the 54 first. So that's going to give us 54 here plus the 5, which gives us 59. Okay? So y is equal to 59. Or you can say f of x is equal to 59. The ordered pair would be 6, 59. Okay? Let's look at number 4. Let's look. Okay, no. I think you can do number 4 on your own. Let's go down and look at number 9. Okay? Use the graph. This line right here is the graph. Um, of g of x to find these values. So let's look. Here, this first one, x is equal to a negative 5. Okay? So what's y? Find negative 5 on the line. The x is negative 5, so go to negative 5 on the x and go up to the line. What's my y? My x is negative 5. My y is 3. So here, y is 3. X is negative 5, y is equal to 3. Okay, so your y here is 3. Let's do this one. X is negative 2. Let's go over to negative 2. Negative 2 is right here. Go up to the line. Okay, negative 2 on the line is here. When x is negative 2, what's my y value? My y value is a positive 1. So y is positive 1. Okay, x here is going to be 1. So go to positive 1 on the x-axis and go to the line. When x is 1, what's my y value? My y value is negative 1. So I'm going to put negative 1 here. So that you should be able to do the same thing for number 10. Okay? All right, this is your homework help video. If you have more questions, please let me know, okay? Have a wonderful and great day.